Hey everyone, this is a good welcome to All Games Adventures, and today we are going to be playing a new game called Serena. And, um, I can't really remember the storyline. Okay, no. Probably no. But I think it's. Where you're like trying to remember something that happened in the past. Uh, I think it's kind Sometimes, of. when I make a great effort. And remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath, Serena. Serena, then. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. That. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. Oh gosh, I'm walking. Cool. Um, I need to see if I can make this window, though. Wait, no, I just wanted it windowed. Are there options? Please don't have started over. We might not. Are we starting over from the very beginning? Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent. The sweetness of her breath. Serena. Um, can I please have options? Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. I have no legs. I have no body, actually. Serena enjoyed spice in her life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. Curious, sensual. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. Town. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without all this. Things that kept us tight, tired. Common sense and other lovely fairy tales. The smell of old books is intoxicating. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Okay, um... Sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. I can't read that. Alvin and Elena came to New York with. The, I can't read that. I'm waiting for something to jump out this and scare me. never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. 
priorities, right? Oh, creepy. Um, I want to get away from that. That is creepy. That's creepy, too. That's some creepy art, dude. This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but somehow never got around to it. Could your house be any more creepy, dude? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. She made this with her own hands. She was really good. What's in here? Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. Let's open it and let all the evils out of Pandora's box. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. Come love with peace in your heart, said the nymph of the ice blue eyes. Ride with me, shut your mortal guise. Here is our mount, a snow-white mare. Come, or sin, to my garden's fair. In the land of youth, fly your art. Ours shall be the cycle of days. Our sun and sky rainbow ways. Oh my gosh, it's strange for sin. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the ice blue eyes. Hmm. Blue eyes. This place is just too creepy. Hi, bed. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. Do not go to the bookcase. I mean, not bookcase. What is that? Dresser. That just terrifies me. There's going to be a body in there. I just know it. It's a beautiful day. Though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. <laughs> I love the little anger in it. Every, like, oh, oh. We used to keep a pitcher of water and a glass on this nightstand. But they're not here now. There's a thick layer of dust and an almost invisible outline where we kept the water pitcher. It hasn't been long enough for so much dust to accumulate. Has it? If I keep clicking things, I say more. Oh. Alright, um. Back. Why did that scare me so much? Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. I didn't need to know that. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. That's like the comb I use. That's a dude's comb. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Hers. I used it too, when shaving. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. Can you imagine wall-to-wall -wall mirrors in an outhouse? That'd be terrifying. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals.